Welcome everyone. It's been a while since we've had a video and that's just mainly because I've been a little busy here. So I'm finally getting around to um, working on something and I did uh, show this in a couple videos ago or um, we're putting a Kubota in a golf cart uh, to say the least. So this is a two cylinder Kubota Z482. Um, not really sure the uh, engine specs, but basically uh, I picked this up a little while ago probably two years ago now at least I, I picked this up um and i had the golf cart and i started to work on it and it just kind of got put to the side and then so on and so forth so here we go we're back to working on it but we've got to do a couple things to make this work um i gotta i gotta lift the the cart in order to get the thermostat housing to clear this the engine is just too tall for the the space we had so it's pretty simple i did get some new leaf springs and some, some beefier ones also um we're gonna just, we're basically we're just gonna be moving the leaf springs to the top getting rid of the old ones putting in some new um but my plan here is to i already cut the u-bolts off um i'm going to just take this leaf spring out weld this to the slur subframe um, that this sits on and that should it's not going to change it uh, very much but that way i don't have to modify um anything here lifting it you know between this uh the axle in this little subframe here but get rid of those i'm just going to weld this here perch to the subframe because it's solid mounted anyway just had one u-bolt going over it and then i have some uh, new brackets over here that i cut basically um two two tabs here this is for our engine mount and then this will be the spring and then the u-bolts so basically the spring will sit on top of this and then we'll u-bolt down through um, and then this will give us our lift we're looking for about a four inch lift give or take um, should be enough and i'm going to um, basically drop the engine down as far as it can it'll probably stick out just slightly below this here but the more room i give um, between the seat basically that's the, the better before we get started um, plan is obviously to get the engine mounted get everything situated so that way we can uh, get this thing fit back up in the cart um, but I had to order a special belt because the one that came with it was uh, too short for the um, the starter was hitting the case here on the differential so I had to order a longer belt it's slightly wider than it should be but I think it'll work as long as we get it nice and uh, in line. Should work out fine. Um, I don't remember here. Um, I don't remember exactly what the configuration. I know that the, uh, this here clutch obviously came off of the cart that uh, that was had a gas motor in it. But the I forget. I don't remember what this aluminum plate. If it was with the engine or if it was with the cart. But I did do some, I had to mill out some something on the back for it to fit to the flywheel. And maybe once we take it apart, I can figure it out. But I don't remember which, which part was which. But basically, I had everything. I bought this. This came out of a um, APU on a semi to, you know, like to run your AC so you don't have to keep your engine running all night long. Um, so basically, I bought no parts to make the clutch fit. It fit right in there. Actually, I did have to buy one bolt to, to hold that in, but that was it. Right here, these are, these are what's going to mount to the side of the engine. That's going to go like so. And then I have a couple gussets that will go in here like so. And then that will give us... These here are just kind of a random. Um, I got some notches here so we can bend them if we need to. But these will be what um, this here rides on. And then that way we have our adjustment front to back to tension the belt as needed. Um, but other than that... I'm going to get to weld some, some of these brackets together and we'll get the leaf springs on first so we we can so we confirm um this here measurement i guess you could say and then uh we can start adding on to the frame up here and doing what we need to do so
after flight with it for a little bit um, got it pretty much good if you can't tell um, it'll be it'll be pretty uh, pretty good we got to kick it this way just a tad um, but we we got plenty of play in our bolts down here I uh, got the rear bracket kind of situated I already had this piece of plate laying around so I just used it um, I'm gonna put another support underneath here from this cross member to this cross member um, this is welded pretty solid there then just gotta bridge this up here a little better I'm gonna go ahead we're, we're free on our mount here so it's sitting where it should be um, I knew as long as we um, stay within the confines basically this here will have to be modified I'll have to put a little um, block in there also but I think I think this is too tight and I'm gonna probably wind up having to shave some of the inside of the belt down and or if I uh, can take this off without um, the spring flying everywhere probably put this on the lathe and just take a little bit so it falls in that groove better like I said I had to order a different um, belt just because the stock one wasn't wasn't right and this is the closest one i could find without um you know the diameter wasn't quite right but the length is what i needed we'll go ahead and uh pull the engine out of here and i'm going to finalize getting everything welded here and then we'll go ahead um get a, get our mounts um confirmed and stuff like that and then i want to go ahead and put it back underneath the uh, golf cart so that way i can uh make sure everything's going to fit here or there i know the engine uh, should fit our height is their only question but should be good with this and uh, we'll go from there I've managed to get the subframe axle diff, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Managed to get that underneath here. A uh, couple problems, not, not really problems, but I may have unintentionally put too much lift in this thing. Um, I wanted about four inches and probably got more like six now, which is no big deal. Um, <clears throat> we'll just have to put some uh, bigger tires on it. But the leaf springs I got were like an inch shorter, so therefore it's the axles kind of pushed forward a little bit more than I'd like. Again, not a big deal, but it is something that uh, that happened. Um, the other thing, let's see, you can kind of tell here that this is uh, pushed forward a little bit. I don't think it's going to matter much. Um, oh yeah, I had to modify the rear hangers, which is when I noticed it. I had to, I kind of notched them and pushed them forward, and then I welded a uh, crossbar in there to stiffen everything up and uh, got the jack on the front to simulate what it's going to look like uh, a lot taller than I was wanting but I'm not going to redo uh, redo stuff now so I guess um, I guess the plan right now is I'm going to throw I guess I'll just put the engine in here just to make sure um, that it fits 
you know, we're going to have enough clearance up and down. And I don't know. I don't really, I, I was thinking about just ordering a kit for the front, but I maybe might try to, you know, make my own. We'll see about that. It's kind of a thing. If I got time, I'll do it. If not, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's throw the engine in here real quick and see what that looks like. We're looking pretty good for fitment in here. Um, I bought this alternator a couple years ago because I was, like I said, I was working on this a while ago, um, but I was making sure that was gonna fit. Um, looks uh, pretty good here. So um, I think now I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to, I'm gonna pull the engine back out, um, start getting stuff cleaned up. I wanna obviously get the engine somewhat looking better. Um, we have a lot, you know, there's a lot of little things right now that need to get figured out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up some of the wire and get stuff, get rid of stuff we don't need. Um, I got to put a radiator in here somewhere. I was thinking about one side or the other, but I don't, I don't even know what um, my options would be yet. So I got to figure that out. Um, but all in all, it's looking pretty good. There's just a lot of little things now uh, we need to do. So let's pull it back out of here and maybe we can start cleaning this up. So I do want this to look good, but this is more important to just get this thing done um, than it is to make it look good. This is, uh, in my opinion, it's more of a tool to have than rather than you know a, a show vehicle per se. So I am uh, doing uh, very minimal. Got my rattle can here. I'm just gonna give it, um, make it look better than it is. But I'm not really worried about the look of it. Uh, I'd rather have the function than the look. But Nonetheless, gonna give a little uh, aerosol overhaul and uh, call it good. For now, we'll go from there. If you couldn't tell by now, I've been working at this thing a little bit here and there, uh, for probably about a week now, getting things uh, figured out, a little here, a little there. Um, I've got uh, some stuff on order. I got a front lift kit on order. It was like 230 bucks on Amazon. I can't really beat that. Um, the time it would take me to, to make one. So, got that on order. Got a radiator coming that I hope will work. We have to kind of modify that maybe when it comes. Um, but I did get the engine set in there. I think it was the last clip. It's just sitting in there right now. I am going to try to, like I mentioned before, just kind of cut this uh, pulley back here a little bit. Just kind of put a little uh, chamfer, a little groove in it for this belt to sit in better so that it doesn't fly out. Um, there's a lot more to do, but I'm just kind of, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here because I'm kind of waiting on parts at this point. So, uh, yeah, there's still obviously plenty more to do. The wiring, I kind of halfway know what's going on, but we'll probably, you know, we'll address that later. Um, there's a lot of little things to do here, and this is the first time I've ever, you know, I'm doing something like this. So, like, uh, we got to make a little throttle assembly to take this direction and use, and somehow be able to um, move it this direction. So, what I'm thinking is we'll make a little, um, 
rod with some bearings or something in it to where when we push this way there'll be an arm that pushes this way and then another one that will um, supplementally you know push out so we'll get our throttle control um, but all in all we're looking pretty good I think I've got this uh, fuel tank over here that I had laying around um, this here cap is no good anymore it's gonna it's probably gonna leak um, so to make it fit better also because this here is pretty tall I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop some of this off it's an aluminum tank and I got a uh, I'm gonna weld a bung in here for our feed and then I'll flip this over and make the um, this side of uh, the top got a filler neck of weld on that so that way um, that part there can kind of stick down in here somewhere I don't know what's gonna work best yet obviously our uh, coolant hoses are going that side so I'm thinking that I'll be able to put the radiator in that space over there um, fuel tank battery over here or something like that uh, but lots of little things to do I'm just trying to get some some of the bigger things situated before I um, commit to like locations for certain things to try to find the best place to make it fit make it work um, so with all that being said we'll wrap this up here um, like I said in the next video we got a lift coming some other other things so that way we can finalize placement of things and then therefore um, see if we can't get this thing to uh, maybe fire up here soon I know it, it, I I know it runs you know per uh, when I bought it and that was a couple years ago so hopefully it works but I really you know it spins over free but other than that I have no information so thanks for watching this is a, a whole new project for me so if you uh, learn something awesome where I'm learning as I go here I have no idea if this is gonna work or not but um, I uh, I have uh, YouTube and I've seen a few others here and there so I think it'll work but then again, I'm not really sure, but thanks for watching, and I guess we'll see you all in part two.